super circumference story will hopefully help you understand how we calculated the length of string for our sampling tools in the Biodiversity Breakdown Discovery Challenge. Our sampling tools, which are made of string, are circles with a diameter of 0.5 meters. Remember, a diameter is the length from one side of a circle to the other side, passing through its center. Another important note about diameters is half of a diameter is called a radius. So a radius is the length from the center to the edge of a circle. We'll use all this information to find the length of the edge of the circle. That length or perimeter is called the circumference. The circumference is also the length our string needs to be for our sampling tool. And there's an equation to help us find that circumference. The circumference or perimeter of a circle, noted by a lowercase c, is equal to 2 times pi, that funny little symbol in the middle, times the length of the circle's radius. The equation is often written as c equals 2 pi r. Pi is a constant number, 3.14 and it's the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. Its decimals go on forever. Crazy, huh? So because two is always two and pi is always 3.14, all we need to know is a circle's radius to find its circumference. All right, in our situation, we know our circle's diameter is 0.5 meters. To get to our circle's radius, we need to divide the diameter by 2. So a radius is equal to the length of the diameter divided by 2. In our situation, the radius is equal to 0.5 meters divided by 2. And that is equal to 0.25 meters. Put another way, if you divide a half by a half, you get a quarter. And that's what we have here is 0.25 meters or a quarter meter. All right, we're almost there. Good job, everybody. Now we have all the numbers we need to find the circumference of our string for our sampling tools. Remember, circumference is equal to 2 pi r. Next, we'll enter our numbers. Our circumference is 2 times 3.14 times our radius, which is, as we just discovered, 0.25 meters. If you multiply all of that together, you'll find our sampling tool's circumference is 1.57 meters. Now to help us measure in centimeters with a common ruler, we're going to convert our 1.57 meters to centimeters. And we know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we can convert 1.57 meters to centimeters by multiplying it by 100. So if we multiply 1.57 times 100, we simply move that decimal over to the right two spots to get 157 centimeters. So we just converted meters to centimeters. But to make our string measurements even easier, we're going to make one more conversion. We're going to convert our centimeters to ruler lengths. So a ruler is 30 centimeters. We can divide 157 centimeters by 30 centimeters to get five ruler lengths with seven centimeters remaining. So that way we can easily measure our strings simply with five rulers plus seven centimeters. With those measurements, we'll be able to create our biodiversity sampling tools with our string with a half meter diameter. So to finish, the circumference or length of our sampling tool, also known as our string, is 1.57 meters, 157 centimeters, and five rulers plus seven centimeters long. Phew, great job everyone, and as always, keep exploring.